should do. You know what you should do. I know that what worked for me was to come here, be quiet, and take one thing at a time, think one thought to its end. Now, that was my first real step. Telling you was my second. You can't pass the buck that easily. How about doing something direct about this? How about helping me? How about joining my staff? <laughs> what, what do you mean? I don't know. Finding a way to get these ideas of yours into the political mainstream. You say it's urgent. You say the ideas are practical. I'll give you a chance to prove it. Of course, it would be frustrating work. You'd have to watch a lot of lying and wheeling and dealing. You'd have to learn how to compromise, too. You'd have to get your hands dirty. Well, I get them dirty the way I want, here, in my ivory tower, where I can sit and think. Something that Jack, with his tenacious pursuit of the common good, uh, not to mention his own career, just doesn't seem to understand how an individual can want to get away. A long, long way away. Thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away. So that you can have the luxury of being a voice crying in the wilderness instead of being one of many voices trying to be heard over the clamor line? Believe me, I, I can appreciate being here. I can understand why that would be nice. I... I see the pedestrian nature of political work, but... Look, if you're gonna say no, don't say anything. Just think it over. What time does the tide actually come in? It'll be soon now. It's going to reach its all-year high today. You can go closer. Come. Thomas must like you. He doesn't usually have this much time for other people's ideas, do you? <laughs> well, not yours, maybe. <laughs> no. That's not nice. Yes, I like her. I like you. Yes. And a lot of guts to come here, isolate, stay put, determined to figure things out until you had something to offer, a couple of sods like you and I. You know, a lot of people talk about doing things like that, but how many people actually roll the dice and do it? You could have stayed as long, read as much, and decided that you had absolutely nothing to offer. And isolation in and of itself is a very scary thing, Jack. So, yeah, I like you. I like you, too. Very brave of you to listen. I'd been disappointed if you hadn't. That would have bothered me, but... But, you know, Jack, I'm not, uh... I'm not so sure that strong-arming her into a Washingtonian office is exactly where she needs to be right now. In fact, it may be exactly where she doesn't need to be. What's eating you? Yeah, you're right. What is this group therapy? All of this is covered in water when the tide comes in, isn't it? Oh, yes. Including the pastures. It must take a special breed of sheep to be able to graze around here at all with all this salt. And how could the grass grow without the manure and the sheep grazing on it? And I wouldn't be surprised if the people around here have a taste for salty lambs, so the people are in it, too. The sea, the grass, the people, the sheep. You ask me what the lobster is weaving down there with its golden feet? I tell you, the ocean knows this. You say, who is the Assidia waiting for in its transparent bell? I tell you, it's waiting for time, like you. You say, who does the macrocystis algae hug in its arm? Study it. Study it at a certain hour in a certain sea, I know. You question me about the wicked tusk of the narwhal, and I respond by describing to you how the sea unicorn, with a harpoon in it, dies. You inquire about the kingfisher's feathers, which tremble in the pure springs of the southern shores. 
I want to tell you that the ocean knows this, that life in its jewel boxes is endless as the sand, impossible to count, pure, and the time among the blood-colored grapes has made the petal hard and shiny, filled the jellyfish with light, untied its knot, letting its musical threads fall from a horn of plenty made of infinite mother of pearl. I'm nothing but the empty net which has gone on ahead of human eyes, dead in the darknesses, of fingers accustomed to the triangle, longitudes on the timid globe of an orange. I walked around like you, investigating the endless star. And in my net during the night, I woke up naked. The only thing caught? A fish trapped inside the wind. Pablo Neruda. Pablo Neruda! Does that remind you of anything? Walked around investigating the endless star? Isn't that what you do, Sonia? And in my net during the night I awoke naked. Isn't that what you do? Don't you take your net and throw it out into these, these far out places of quantum physics and systems theory and... And don't you find that the only thing you ever catch is your own self back again? Like a fish trapped inside the wind. Where are the other people in your system, Sonia? The ones you love. What about these tourists here that we feel so superior to? Aren't they too like fish trapped inside the wind and... I don't know, maybe even the feeling's more terrible for them because, you know, they don't have words to describe it. So tell me, Sonia, where are all of us in there? The real people with their qualities, their longings, their weaknesses. Where are you inside there, Sonia? Where's Kit? You know, scientists can tell us what Life's internal metaphors are, whether they're computer chips or clocks. Politicians can tell us what forms our lives should take. But, uh... I feel just as reduced being called a system as I do being called a clock. Life's just... just not condensable. You know, one group of people uses one set of words to change the world, then a, another set of people come along with a different set of words to change it, and... I don't mind, you know, it's all the same to me. I don't mind a bit. It's like the season's changing. And I like you. I, I like your timorous courage. I like the fact that you want to make the world a better place. God knows it could use it. And I like my silly friend, Jack, who's crazy enough to think that he wants to be president of the United States. And as for me, <laughs> don't mind me, I'm a fool. But remember, life feels itself. Life feels itself. Differently, perhaps, than all your words for how to manage it. And even with the best intentions in the world, you'll go wrong if you forget that life, 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 life is infinitely more than yours or my obtuse theories about it. Healing the universe is an inside job. And you've helped me. And I love you. And I love you, too. I love you both. Water. <laughs> what a day! What a day!
going to go, we better leave now. Well, why don't you just stay? I don't know. Why don't you just come? Anyway, thanks. Thank you. Don't thank me. I love the day. I hate goodbyes. Maybe it's not goodbye. Please think about what I said. Let us know how the water arrives. Does that matter? Of course it matters. Let it get all the way back to the line. Let it renew itself, right, Sonia? Maybe come to Paris to let me know. Or Washington. Or New York. Where are the other people in your system, Sonia? The ones you love. The real people with their qualities, their longings, their weaknesses. Mom, are you okay? Where are you inside there, Sonia? Where's Kit? Shall we go home? weekend in France has just come to a close. Maybe I, too, am tired of being a stranger, being outside a language and environment which lived, which resonated inside me. Our emotional system, as she might say, needs a larger system to nurture it. Doesn't make any difference. You're locked in with the people you know. You need to belong somewhere else. Was right, of course, about damn near everything. Even the parts I didn't understand felt right. So, should I just go with it? Is this one of those turning points? You, the woman, I, the man, does the world. And each is the work of all. There's the muffled step in the sand, the stranger, the crippled wren, the nun, the dancer, the angels wing over the walkers in the village, and there are many beautiful arms around us and the things we know. I don't know how the rest of the damn phone goes. <laughs> 